All right, this is a video on how to make a GIF. So do a search for, well, let me adjust this, uh, video to GIF. And that'll take you to here. So get this thing called Video to GIF Animation Converter. And just install that. It's very simple. Uh, the next thing you want to do is generate a video. So what I did was um, I created one using a screencast. So it looks like this. It's very short. Turn the volume off. So it's me hitting the settings, clicking quizzes, showing somebody how to make it a quiz, and clicking the save button. So if I wanted to embed that in a document. So I have that file. So what I'm going to do is put that. Um, oh, I skipped a step. So uh, you want to go ahead and open up the app. The easiest way to do that is click the apps button. Or if you have a Chromebook, you need to click the little white circle in the bottom corner to get to this app button. Open your video to GIF, drag and drop your video there. So here's my forms to quiz, drag that baby right there, and there we go. Now if I just hit play, it'll show the whole video, which I don't need that, and we don't need the sound either. So now what I want to do is um, make a few adjustments here. So the original width is 780, so I'm going to change this to 780. And I want this to repeat, which means it's going to loop the video. And then 100 frames is going to be too many. So let's try 50 frames. And you'll see when you capture the frame. So you click this button here that says Capture Frames. So with this many frames, what do I do? 50 frames. Um, it's only going to go about four seconds. So I want to do, oh, this was the old adjustment. That should have been at 200. Uh, let's try capturing 50 frames again. Capture frames. And click Save. Perfect. It ends right where I want it to end. That's great. So then down here, here's my image. If you just click the Compile to GIF button, it'll show you where it is. So it's going to take a second, so I'll be right back when this is ready. All right, so here's what my GIF looks like. It's been all compiled. If I hit Save to Computer, that'll let me download the GIF. And I'll show it in Finder. So here it is. And here's what I like about these. Let's expand this window. So if I was trying to teach someone how to do something or how to document where some type of instruction was needed, you can just plunk that right in and shrink it up. It's nice, you can read it, it's clear. And so then inside of my how-to document, for example, I could put then click the gear to change the settings or something like that. And then here it is clicking the gear, clicking quizzes, and it's just looping that so people can follow along. I think that that's really easy and I like it. So that's how you create a GIF, okay.